In our paper, Selected Sample for Spike and Slap Sparsecoding, we study approximate probabilistic inference in very high dimensional latent spaces. Spike and Slap Sparsecoding consists of, later, uh, of a latent prior where each latent variable has exact zeros, or if not zero, is distributed according to a Gaussian. Spike and slip sparse coding results in multimodal posteriors and strong correlations between latents. Spike and slip sparse coding, however, also results in these posteriors to be located precisely in low dimensional subspaces of the latent space. We apply for efficient inference and learning the select and sample approach which exploits this property. So select and sample first finds those low dimensional latent spaces that contain most posterior mass and then uses the sampling approach to approximate the posterior structure only within these low dimensional hidden spaces. So in this example we use a three dimensional latent space and first select the two latent dimensions S2 and S3 that contain most posterior mass, and then use a Gibbs sampler to approximate this posterior structure within this subspace. In realistic applications, however, we go to much higher dimensional latent spaces, we go up to 10,000 latent dimensions, and then select up to 20 dimensional latent spaces individually for each hidden variable using the selection procedure. This allows us to scale tremendously our, um, our dictionaries, and if we compare with other approaches, we find that, first of all, our approximation scheme allows to capture correlations and multiple modes, because it's, uh, a, it lies in the domain of so-called truncated DM approximations that we have applied uh, since a couple of years now, and not in the domain, for instance, of factor variation approaches, that would assume uncorrelated latent variables, which is often not realistic. Uh, also empirically, if we compare with other approaches, we find that 10,000 hidden dimensions is actually the largest scale probabilistic uh, methods that have so far been investigated. There's a couple of thousands before by SVC, good fellow at our uh, this is not sparse coding, but it's uh, spike and slip RBM, but these are all sparse coding approaches. Notably, we are also larger scale than uh, deterministic approaches here. If applied to image patches, we find new structures such as corners, and we investigate this more. Hopefully, you come to the poster, have a look at the paper.